Hey, what's up? It's Jared with State of Tech, and I wanted to do an update to my first mining rig build video that I did a little over 45 days ago. Now, I started my, actually, it's getting closer to two months, but I built a mining rig to mine Ethereum, and things have kind of exploded since then, um, not even just in the cryptocurrency market, but also just in my involvement in mining. So uh, I built that original mining rig because I wanted to uh, start investing in cryptocurrency, but I wanted to do it in a way that wasn't going to uh, to be throwing money into something and hoping for the best. You know, uh, as we know with our technology, um, you know, technology moves fast and things update and lose value, but technology in and of itself, you know, typically holds a decent amount of value for a little bit of time. Uh, at least you have something tangible. And so uh, I went into it with that mindset of I have something tangible and if mining doesn't work out, out, I can sell the equipment or something like that. Well, December was really good. And even the first part of January was really good as far as, uh, you know, the profitability went. Uh, Ethereum was growing quite a bit and, you know, went from when I started, Ethereum was down around 400 and something dollars a coin and it went all the way up to $1,400. So it, that was huge, huge growth uh, that we saw in like, you know, the matter of a couple of months. But of course, it has kind of came back down a little bit. This last week or so, it's been in the 900 range, uh, kind of going back into 1,000 and then dipping back down into 900. It's still really good. Uh, but here's my, my whole kind of mindset on that. Now, I went into this uh, thinking, okay, if I mine cryptocurrency, I'm going to leave as much of it in that currency as I can, or maybe trade around between different currencies. So my mining equipment is still mining the same amount of cryptocurrency as it would have, regardless of what the market is. So the, the market, of course, being what you would exchange Ethereum or that cryptocurrency for US dollars. So if I was to convert it into US dollars, what would that be worth? Now that's gonna fluctuate, it's gonna go up and down, just as when you buy stocks in the stock market, it goes up and down, or pretty much any investment can go up and down. The whole hope and idea is, is that if you hold on to it long enough, it will just continue to grow. And you know we may not see the type of growth that we saw uh, earlier this year or earlier last year in 2017, but uh, I think that there's still, you know, right now it's, it's uh, everybody's becoming aware of cryptocurrency and throwing money at it. And then people are pulling money out and it's going to kind of dip and fluctuate. And then of course, start to grow again. So I've built more rigs now. <laughs> uh, I have a few now to say the, uh, uh, to put it, you know, make it sound small, but it really is kind of uh, a lot going on as far as mining goes. I'm running into problems with having enough electricity in the building that I'm in to power my rigs. I'm having trouble getting more equipment so that I can build more rigs. Um, it's really just worked out well for me. It's been fun, not only just as a hobby in a sense, because it's given me something to work on, uh, another project, something that's different from my normal day to day. And the fun part is, is that it actually makes some money and I don't have to babysit it all the time. So I've gone from building my first rig on Windows and you know, trying to put together a solution to keep that thing up and running to running it on Linux and having a solution for keeping that, uh, those computers up and running nonstop without any problems, assuming that I still have electricity and internet. So it's been a lot of fun. And, uh, so let's, let's talk about the profitability. Um, I mean, the profitability is, uh, is obviously a key factor. We're not going to go and spend a bunch of money on computer equipment if there's no way to return some sort of an investment uh, on on that initial uh, purchase. So I have on my first rig returned on my investment already. And that's mainly because of the big growth in December and early January in Ethereum. Uh, typically I was expecting, you know, about two and a half months or so with the price that uh, Ethereum was at in December. Um, I was expecting two and a half months. 
Uh, but because I have been able to kind of move some of the cryptocurrency around out of Ethereum and do some of the smaller altcoins and then even some of it back into Ethereum, um, I've even been able to, uh, to expand upon that growth that I was already seeing just on Ethereum alone. So uh, so far, I'm at about 25 right now with where the current market is. I'm at about $2,500 in Ethereum. So uh, I think two point, about 2.5 coins, uh, maybe a little bit more than that in Ethereum that I've mined. Now, I've sent a, a little, little piece of that for a management system that I'm using, uh, Simple Mining cost two dollars a month per rig i sent them some ethereum to pay for that uh, and then i've also sent some ethereum into a couple of other exchanges just to kind of play around with some of these other coins and so i've used a little bit of that to invest in different ways um my initial investment in the rig that I built was uh, just over $2,400. I got lucky on the cost of my parts and everything before things got really crazy. And so my investment there was just a little bit over $2,400. And I've already made that back in my in my cryptocurrency mining, which is great. Uh, now I have purchased a lot more equipment and those other rigs have not returned on their investment yet. And especially with the cost of uh, these coins kind of dipping a little bit, or not the cost, but the um, the exchange rate of them dipping a little bit. Uh, I return on investment may take a little bit longer than originally intended for those rigs. But I see that things will probably be increasing over the course of this year. People who got into cryptocurrency at the wrong time got bit in the butt and are probably uh, going to be on their way out and go back to whatever it is that they were doing before. And so the correction is happening and things will continue to improve after that, just like the housing market crashes. And anytime there's a crash in the stock market or anything like that, uh, there's always a recovery that comes. And I don't believe that cryptocurrency is going to be any different. So I wanted to give everybody an update here on State of Tech because the two videos that are uh, mining related that I created, which are linked below in case you haven't seen them yet, uh, have gotten a lot of views and a lot of um, a lot of people have been interested in them. And so I wanted to come back and do an update and let everybody know where I'm at. Uh, I plan to mine throughout this year in 2018. Um, I've been building a few mining rigs for other people. Uh, some of the excess parts that I've ended up with, I've been, you know, selling them those. And so um, it's been a lot of fun. It's been a fun, different project, something that's different from my normal day to day. Uh, and, and it's just been a really interesting thing. So if you are at all interested in cryptocurrency mining, you know, you're, you're thinking about building a rig uh, to do some mining. Um, obviously, there's a wealth of information out there. There's a lot of YouTube videos where you can learn how to build these. Um, I took it and put it into a course because I feel if uh, there are a lot of people out there that are like me that um, that are visual, but they like it to be structured. And I found that there weren't a lot of, uh, of, of that type of information out there on the web. There's a lot of great information, but it wasn't structured well and it wasn't really laid out um, in a way that uh, made it really easy for me to understand everything. And so there was a lot of figuring things out on my own that were actually really easy to explain. Um, it just takes somebody to explain that. So in the uh, description below, I've got a link to my course and uh, there's also um, some uh, a YouTube channel that I started specifically for mining and uh, alternative investing. And I'll link to that down below as well. Uh, it's uh, probably where I'll be talking mostly about cryptocurrency and mining. I don't wanna flood this channel with it, but that's kind of like my little side hobby now. So if you're interested and you want to see what's going on over there, definitely check out the link in the description. Hey, thanks so much for joining me today on State of Tech. I hope that uh, you're having a great day. Um, subscribe to our channel here as we have lots of good plans for the rest of this year, lots of fun things that we're gonna try and, uh, and make happen. So click that subscribe button so you get notified and I hope to see you back here in the next one. Take care.